Hi Ella, sorry you are feeling down right now. It sucks that you had to put up with a so-called friend who didn't accept you for who you are. I had the same problem a few weeks back at a casual clothes day. What are you wearing to casual clothes day tomorrow? I'm not really sure yet. I better go have a look. Okay, see ya. That's really creative. I'm just working out what to wear tomorrow. You aren't seriously going to wear that, are you? Um, uh, no. I was just messing around. What are you wearing? Oh, I'm going to wear my new jeans and that top that I wore to the movies. Oh, you look nice. Okay, I gotta go. See you tomorrow. Bye. My friend Alice thought my outfit was stupid. I know she was only giving me her opinion, but she was really mean. My roommate, Genevieve, came in. What's up? Not much, I just finished up for practice. So, what are you wearing to casual clothes day tomorrow? Oh, I forgot all about it. I forgot to bring something home with me to wear. So what will you do? I guess I'll just have to wear my school uniform. It's going to be so embarrassing. Mm. Is this what you're wearing? No, I'll probably just wear blue jeans on the top. You should wear this, it's so nice. Well, you can wear it if you want. Seriously? Yeah, if you want. Thank you so much. So cool. When Genevieve said she really liked the outfit, I was unsure how I felt. Anyway, she wore the outfit to casual clothes day. <laughs> Genevieve wore my outfit. She seemed like she had lots of confidence and looked really good in it. Of course, Alice had to be mean about it. Oh my God, did you get her to wear that for a joke? I bet she bought it from the up shop. Hey Genevieve, I really like your outfit. You look great. Oh, thank you. Is she joking? Actually, I think she looks great. Hey, um, I really appreciate letting me wear this. You have great taste. Looks good on you. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see ya then. I'll see you guys later. Is she serious? I've started hanging out with Genevieve more. She likes me for who I am and I believe you should do the same. Just be yourself. People should accept you and love you for who you are and what you do. If they try to put you down, they are not worth your time. Hope you're okay. Let me know if you want to talk. Ever. Hi Ted, I heard about some problems you have been having that are similar to what I had a while ago. I was down in the basement heading to class when I saw pinned up on the notice board a sign up sheet for debating club. I remembered my aim to be a lawyer and realised debating would help me with my public speaking, so I signed up. I was a bit nervous about joining the club, but I really enjoyed it. Okay, excellent. Let's see what we've come up with so far. David, I know you're new here. Would you mind telling us what you've come up with? Um, uh, okay. I strongly believe that the legal drinking age should be raised to 21 in Australia. Raising the legal age will also reduce binge drinking, since teenagers are less likely to know someone 21 or over who would purchase alcoholic beverages for them. I believe that raising the legal drinking age in Australia would have a very positive effect on the young adults of our society. And that's all I've got so far. Oh, that's good, David. Can I ask you why you wanted to join the debate club? Well, I want to be a lawyer and I thought it might help me with my public speaking. I think you'll make a good lawyer one day. Well done. Well, that's time uh, up, ladies and gentlemen, so make sure I write you out of the debate pass and off you go. Then something extremely embarrassing happened. I walked back into my English class with a note Thank you. explaining why I was late. <laughs> You've been at the bay club. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Everyone laughed at me so much. I decided there and then not to go back to the debate club. Here you won the swimming championship. Yeah, have another one next time. Right, that's right. Excuse me, boys. David, you weren't at the debate club yesterday. No, it's not really my thing. Oh, that's disappointing. You were pretty good at it. Uh, maybe another time. Okay. I know I was just too scared to go back because I didn't want to get laughed at. Then the same thing happened to a guy called Ben. Sorry, I'm late. I've got Ben in debate. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Sorry, Ben. Hey David, what's up? Sucks kids teasing you because you go to debate club. Guess you're gonna quit now, everyone knows. No, of course not. Who cares what they think? But what if they keep teasing you? Big deal, I really like debate club. I'm not gonna quit just because a few kids think they're too cool for it. Yeah, right. Who cares what they think? <laughs> Wait, did you quit because they laughed at you? No. You look like you really liked it. Didn't you say you wanted to become a lawyer? Well, yeah. Then why'd you quit? You were really good at it. I guess I can give it another go. I'll see you there then. See ya. I really admired Ben for not letting others stop him from being himself. I went back to the next meeting. Okay, you know we only have a few lessons left now before our big inter-school debating competition against the other schools. Now, our rivals college have got a good team this year. So we uh, want to make sure we get on top of it. So I think it's about time we sit down and use his time wisely. I learned to just ignore those who might laugh at me because I want to do something different. I think you should try and do the same. If they put you down for being yourself, try not to take it to heart. I know you're gonna be okay. See you around, David. Hey Brock, I heard you were going through a bad time at the minute. I hope you're coping all right. If you wanna talk, I'm here for you, man. My new friends, Leo, the one I was telling you about, well, he decided to sign up for Monovay's Got Talent. Hello, do you mind if we speak about one has Got Talent? Certainly, coming. Everybody, could I please get you to stop what you're doing at the moment? Could I please get you to listen to Michael and Kate? They just have a small announcement that I would like to tell you. We're here to collect entries for Monovay's Got Talent, which will be held this Friday lunchtime in the PAC. And anyone that would like to enter, could you please come up and give your name to myself? It's a surprise. What are you going to do? Sing Friday? You'll see. I didn't know what Leo was going to do. He couldn't play an instrument or sing, and I'm pretty sure he couldn't dance. I thought Leo would just make a fool of himself. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs, gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal, seeing everything, the time is going, ticking on and on, everybody's rushing, gotta get down to my bar stop. Gotta catch the bus, I see my friends Kicking the back seat, sitting in the front seat Gotta make my mind up, which seat can I take? It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday Everybody's looking forward to the weekend Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday Everybody's looking forward to the weekend Party and party, yeah. party and party, yeah. fun, 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 looking forward to the week. <laughs> okay. Let's get a hand for Beck and her Friday dancers. I was starting to feel really nervous and it wasn't even me performing. Then it was Leo's turn. You sure you really want to do this? Yeah, for sure. Next up, Leo Sterling. Wish me luck. Yeah, sure. Anyone here from Merino? Get on with it. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, man, breathe. Because you turn purple when you don't breathe. I was in the cafe a couple weeks ago, and the waitress said to the guy on the table next to me, would you like some beef with that gravy, sir? Oh. 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 I was talking to my little cousin, and he got his rubber band pistol taken off of me in class, 
because the teacher said it was a weapon of math disruption. Yeah. <laughs> Get off! The jokes were terrible. Everyone was laughing at him, not in a good way. From the look on Leo's face, I think he thought they were laughing at his jokes. It was so embarrassing. That's all I got time for. See you. Are you alright? That was so awesome. What? That was the best thing I've ever done. It was so cool. I've had the time of my life. Never felt this way before. I still thought that Leo hadn't got the people who were laughing at him. But he actually was just so happy that he got to perform what he likes to do. I know it will take some guts, but I think if you really enjoy doing something, then you should go for it no matter what others say. Good luck, Ryan. Now I've had the time of my life. Now I've never felt like this before. Yes, I swear. It's the truth, and I owe it all to you. Cause I